Good day to you, welcome, I'm Mechorization, and today I'm going to show you how does Hearthstone perform my, on my integrated graphics on my laptop. So on the left you can see my rig, it's i5 6200U with its integrated graphics Intel HD 520. Also 8 gigs of RAM, slowly clocked one 800 megahertz and standard stock 5200 RPM hard drive. I was able to play it at 1080p medium settings, but your mileage might vary depending on your RAM as uh, Integrated graphics sometimes tend to use uh, v uh, RAM as VRAM, and therefore the higher clocked RAM you have, the, uh, the better results you have with the integrated graphics. Also, slightly better P uh, CPU might actually increase your performance heavily. Now, before we start, let's focus on one thing, and that's the difference between low, medium, and high. As you can see right now, the difference is there, However, I don't feel that the difference between medium and high is large enough to actually sustain the difference or explain the difference in FPS. And now you can see at the bottom results of my testing. Uh, there is low, medium and high preset, uh, all the common resolutions, three of them, uh, oh sorry, four of them, and there is high with boost. I have to point out that this boost means that I was actually able to run my integrated graphic at the point I was supposed to run it, not with the standard high settings which was before that. And I'll get into the results in a minute. So as you can see, uh, at low settings it is possible to run it uh, with at 30 FPS with every single resolution even on integrated graphics. The thing is that uh, sometimes it goes down to 26, 25. It's just the thing that Hearthstone does. It's probably connected to a hard drive more than your CPU or G in integrated GPU. At medium settings, however, yeah, the drops are more significant at uh, 16 to 900 and full HD. Uh, as drops to 23 and 24 are noticeably different than common or standard 20, uh, 30 or 28. And then we get to the interesting part. And that are my two results on high with one single change in Intel graphics control panel. Now I have to point out that everything is done on uh, high on one screen only. Um, high preset or high uh, power preset in Windows, but I have changed one thing for this, and that it was that in Intel con uh, Intel HD graphics under power, there are two. So I have two tabs on there: on battery and plugged in. As my laptop was plugged in and actually on 100%, I thought that it should not get any kind of uh, uh, influence, or it shouldn't be influenced by on battery setting, but I was completely off by that. Okay, so on plugged in I of course had maximum performance, but on battery I had maximum performance, but I had my display power saving technology enabled. And that's when I noticed that my uh, GPU is actually running only at 299 megahertz, so it was capped on its non-boosted maximum. When I turned off the display power saving technology, which should only get in play when it's on battery, I actually got to 999, uh, which is still 50 below the maximum, which it should be, I don't know what's wrong, maybe it's manufacturer or something like that, but I finally got the boost, and the results are tremendous! Come on, take a look at it, like high at high settings, uh, sorry, at uh, high settings at 720p, this jump was from 28 to 30 to 47 to 58. I understand that there was the cap, but still 47 to 58. Okay, that's almost 60 FPS, that's nice. But when we go to 768, there's a big difference because on a high without the boost, it was unable to run it even on those 30. However, with the boost, it went up to 42 to 50, and even on 16 to 900 on high settings, it was playable. It was not playable on the on that resolution and on that preset previously. So just a change in Intel HD graphics control on battery, which should not influence the plugin, actually made this difference. Check whether you have it or not, uh, it might help you. 
if you have struggle or if you're struggling with Hearthstone performance on general performance. Now, as you can see, you can run it like that. If you're thinking about creating content, streaming, recording, s anything like that, I have to say that it's probably not a good idea on integrated graphics simply because your CPU will get overloaded by the by the recording or by the game and you will have lost frames and these things. So that might be extremely unpleasant, but just for playing Hearthstone, it is very viable and very reliable to play at medium settings at even 1080p. That is possible, just the animations drop. The interesting thing is comparison of uh, the Intel integrated graphics with the, with some mobile performance, uh, with some mobile card performances. So uh, if we compare it even with stuff like Honor 8, Huawei P10 or something like that, something around the range of $400, it is actually performing a lot better on Android than it is on Windows, which is pitiful. But I hope that this helped you get some insight on the Hearthstone performance and uh, decide whether to try it or not. Decide, help you decide whether to maybe get the laptop with this integrated graphics or all the insights. And well, thanks for watching and see you next time.